Hi guys, this is Lego Yoshi, and welcome back to my playthrough of Horrorland on Mario Party 2. Today, we are going to turn 6 to 10. And DK, if you didn't watch last time, um, Beach has got the worst roll she possibly could. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Uh, DK screwed us all over last time by getting a Bowser bomb. We knew he wouldn't be able to get caught. Which is very, very underhanded tactics there, DK. Not happy with you. Very naughty monkey. So thankfully we are on the way to getting some more coins, so... I win that last minigame. And let's just get past you. Goodbye. Face. So, what minigame are we going to get this time? Another four player minigame, we're going to get. Kyle Driver. And in this minigame, I'll go over the uh, thing from the actual board, since I've uh, put it off for now. I've got boo this time. Get the good, this green one at least first, and that's going to be since they take a couple of rotations. No, uh, Wario's not far behind! Hey! <laughs> I kind of noticed that Wario wasn't uh, too far behind me, so I thought I'd better get it done quick. Peach kind of screwed up though, so that's always good to see. Ah, we got enough for the star. So, anyway. Uh, Horrorland is a haunted forest in Mario Land in Mario Party 2. Players are dressed as wizards and have wizard in their name. The gimmick of this board is that it alternates, alternates, uh, alternates between night and day every two turns. There are more boos here than any other board, including the difficult to reach Big Boo, who steals coins and stars from all the other players for three times the normal price. So we have Big Boo. The time of day determines which boos are available. Uh, what's Peach going for? Sorry, I was looking at my laptop and then I realised Peach was playing Nightmare again. What are going to get? Under chest. Should have guessed. Yeah, that rhymed. So I'll use my mushroom on this turn so at least you can't make that off me. Uh, once guard three separate junctions and players who wish to take the path that Lump is blocking have to pay him five coins. The players who take the path Lump is not guarding makes him move to the path to the other pathway. These ones are similar to the ones from Dun eh, Dunkle, DK's Jungle Adventure in Mario Party 1. And also, it's now daytime. And also, it's also my turn. Yep. Five. Eight. Thirteen, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. The other way, Wario. <laughs> Look, Peach, I got the star. See, I'm earning these stars, unlike what you do. Anyway, where's the next star gonna be? Uh, oh, I'm actually on my way to it though, but nowhere near enough coins for it. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I'm gonna have to go that way anyway. Whew. Sorry for yawning, guys. <clears throat> Quite tired today. <laughs> it's been a very long weekend. I'm not going to go into the, any details about it because uh, it's a bit uh, private, shall we say. Oh, I do appreciate it. Um, obviously, the one thing I will say is that you all remember that it was my grandma's. My grandma passed away recently and her funeral was literally just over a week ago. So, anyway. Enough about that, because I don't want to really start crying on the video. Anyway, at night time, the Wumps are under a spell that makes them unable to move. 
The day and night system would become the foundation on which Mario Party 6 was built. And let's see what Wario's done. Ooh, Wario's got a lot of good items though. Oh no, whatever he gets, Peach is gonna nick. Don't go up, 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 no! Well done, Wario, you just handed Peach a, pretty much a star. Idiot. Jump me and Magic Lamps on turn, we're only on turn seven. Great. The bomb barrage. Yay, we get the little Peach. Come here, Peach. Come here, Peach. Gotcha. <laughs> also, got to say that, in my opinion, this is one of the best uh, victory themes that you can get in Mario Party. Hey! <laughs> and what's Peach going to do? Hmm, I wonder. I think she's going to use her plunder chest and steal that magic lamp that Wario was an idiot. Right, when players come to Mr. I's warp stop, he appears to them asking if they want to see his magic. If they accept, Mr. I takes them and then he will slow them away to the warp stop on the other side of the board. The fee for this is 10 coins during the day and normal 5 at night. There are other ways of changing the time or day rather than just waiting 2 turns per day to turn to night and vice versa. Uh, landing on a happening space also changes the time too. At night time, players that come by a dancing floor are asked to buy a few boos and Mr. Eyes if they want to dance with them for 20 coins. Accepting this makes night become day. I'm only 4 coins off. Can I come back next turn if I've got 4 coins? Oh well, we'll go night at least. So yes, at least I can explain this properly. Ooh. Hmm. An idea. The coffin is open and closed, revealing the items inside. Open one, if you dare. Move, jump, attack, hit, drop. Pay close attention to where the cof to where the item you create has moved. Don't open Big Bowser's coffin. Now, the golden mushroom is tempting, but there's something else that's kind of taken my eye. I wonder if you guys know what it is. Comment below and let me know what you think it is. Preferably before I actually get the item. I saw it. <laughs> See if I can nick it. She might use it next turn when she, even though she ain't got enough coins just so I can't have it, but I've got at least a bit of insurance then. <laughs> Two can play at being devious. Uh, uh, anyway, we're going to I'll have to wait till the next turn anyway then. Little mini game, and it's going to be free. Look away! We've played this quite a few times as well. Space like, hmm, I suppose I lost. Whoops! Oh, God, Barry, where's your teeth gone? <laughs> Peach is gone, oh dear. This is not looking good. Oh, 
DK, you've got a couple of milliseconds. <laughs> Mario literally moved at the last second, so fair play to him on that one. I can still nick the magic lamp if she doesn't use it. Or is she going to be an absolute bugger? No, she's not. Thank you. I can use that next turn if I can. Oh, anyway, um, there we go to. During the daytime, players that come by the Mystery Mansion at the top of the board, they are answered by Kamek the Magic Cooper. He asks players if they want to light the darkness lamp for 10 coins. If accepted, he'll light it and day becomes night. If the player passes the mansion at night, they will hear loud and festive noises in a party. The item minigame is Coughing Congestion, and the dual minigame which we may see is Mushroom Brew. Thank you! That's all the information on the board. I'll just get the other bits up for when uh, I'm Hey! <laughs> Thank you. I'll happily take that. Can't use it yet, but never mind. Woohoo! 44 coins! <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> I've definitely got the coins down to me. Actually, it's unlucky, he's only got three coins. No. Poor bugger. And um, we on turn nine, yeah. That's when we have to the next turn. Uh oh. Powers of space. Hooray! Not bad revolution, please. Let's go for that. I've just got these coins. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so much fun. Fun, fun, fun. Are we going to get 2v2? Yep. Oh, do I have to talk to you? Are we going to get one we haven't got as well? Bloom Bros? No, we've already played that. We haven't played Blue, Blue with Lumberjacks. Could have got that. It's still four 2v2 minigames we've not played. We're, on, we're nearly on the last board. Uh, oh well. We know how to play this one by a fight one anyway. Peach, pump properly. Look at my dial actually going properly. And then look at yours. Almost like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And kaboom. <laughs> that pretty much shows that Peach is very, very low while mine's at the right at the top. Bloody Peach. <laughs> oh well. Right. So, anyway, the spaces on this board there's 59 blue spaces. Eight red spaces, eight happening spaces, four battle spaces, two chance spaces, six item spaces, two bank spaces, and five Bowser's Pit. For God's sake, we have stopped giving to them. Give it to DK or Warrior, I won't mind. It's always Peach. Jesus. So anyway, in total, there are 94 spaces on this all together. I mean, at least DK and Wario actually need them. And DK is going to try for an item. Ooh, got some good items again. And there's no plunder chest about DK. No coins. <laughs> right. So I think you're not going to do here. I'm a mushroom genie who lives in that area, I know about you. 
Mushroom Cadabra! Away! Whee! That was fun. Whee! Crash. <laughs> yeah, that was a <laughs> Why would I say no? Next, uh, ooh. Right in between the two boos. And the top egg bounce, okay. And let's go back to night time. <laughs> Don't know why, but why not? Mini game we're this time. One point mini game. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's appropriate for this one. For this board, should we say? Yeah. Oh, I've played this before. Much that I don't like it, but oh well. Ready, go. Sorry if I go quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate. Concentrate on bashing this button. <laughs> Why have you missed by a mile? <laughs> Oops, that was a bit wrong. Yes, I guess. Ah, crap, I went wrong. Ah! No! No! <laughs> Why did I jump? Well, I didn't win, but at least I didn't get caught by the boo. <laughs> well done, DK. I've no problem with DK winning the minute because he's, I know he's got a magic lamp, but uh, he's also no threat at the minute. Uh, there we go, then, guys. Uh, that was the end of turn 10, so thank you very much for watching. I shall see you for the next video where we do turns 11 to 15. See you later, guys.